Welcome back to Tech Ed Guru Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an XML document. So very quickly, what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It is a markup language. It's a flexible text format for creating structured data documents. XML was designed to transport and store data. XML is based on a W3C standard. I want to create an XML document from these data. These data describe my collection of CDs. This is a nice structured table, could have come from Excel spreadsheet or a database table. If you like, you can use the notepad editor and manually convert the data to XML. However, there are many tools out there that make the job a little easier. I like XML Notepad 2007, which is a free tool. Simply search for MS Notepad 2007 and download the software. After downloading, simply run the installation program. When ready, double click on the shortcut and run the program and I will walk you through this example. Let me show you how to create an XML document from these data. Let's try to understand the data just a little. So this is obviously a catalog of CDs. One catalog contain multiple CDs. So the CDs are called the child elements of the catalog element. Catalog is the top level element or the root element. Each CD contains one, two, three, four, five elements. Title, artist, company, price and year. So keep that in mind and uh, let's start the XML editor and start inserting the data. So we are going to start with uh, uh, the first element before or after doesn't matter for the first element the top level element or the first element is catalog then highlight catalog and say insert element child we want to insert a child element to the catalog CD then select CD and say insert element child and we want to insert title and the value of the title is hide your heart go back to CD insert element another child element in this case the next element is artist and uh, the the artist or the value of that element is Bonnie Tyler let's go back to CD insert element child in this case uh, price I'm not going to enter all of them 9.90 okay so we entered one CD I haven't entered all the data yet uh, but let's go back and now entered another CD the easiest way to do that is to say is to highlight CD edit copy go back and select the catalog and say edit paste so now the second CD appears and what you could do now here is to just edit the values you still need of course the title artist and price so in this case the title is greatest hits the artist is uh, Dolly Parton and the price is 990 again okay so we got two uh, elements in here so this is the this is how you could easily create an XML document now you want to see what your XML document is exactly going to look like you know this is not what an XML document looks like so one thing you could do is to select Excel XSL output and scroll down here ignore the text that appears in uh, yellow here below underneath that is your XML document so you have a catalog which is the root element which begins here and ends here within which you have two CD elements I only entered two CD elements and each CD element has a title artist and price and so forth now I'm going to go back and uh, read my complete document which contains all of those six elements so that it looks a little more interesting and uh, here is the here is that document and you can go ahead and you know save it as uh, whatever you like I'm going to save that one to my desktop as one dot XML that's okay and now 
let's go back and close the editor and try opening the document in in a text editor or a, in a notepad editor just to see what it looks like so so if you entered all the data saved the file as one dot xml and if you go back and now open the file in a text editor this is what that document is going to look like now you notice that we typed in most of this data catalog CDs CD1 CD2 etc but we did not put this one in there this is called the XML prolog basically says uh, the type of XML document that you have and uh, a statement like that should always appear at the top of every XML document the in this case the editor automatically puts that in for us so this is the XML document now what can you do with this XML document remember I said earlier that it is used to store data so we are able to store a table in a nice XML format and now many applications pretty much all the applications today understand XML Microsoft Word Excel access all the database applications even uh, the browsers they all understand XML so let me quickly show you what happens when I drop this file on to Excel so let's try that one next okay so I just opened Excel and I'm going to drag and drop one dot XML onto this worksheet and it's saying uh, please select how you would like to open this file I'm going to say as an XML table click on the OK for the next dialog box and that's your table so in this case you notice that we started with a table we converted that to XML and as soon as we brought that file inside Excel the Excel was able to interpret the file in a meaningful way so this is the power of XML now let's also try reading the file in the Internet Explorer okay so I open the Explorer and I am going to draw drag that one dot XML file right on top of this sheet here and that's your XML file again so you notice that the browser is also able to understand the XML and here you can uh, allow the blocked con content so you can now for example collapse the CD or collapse the whole catalog expand it etc so it understands the structure of XML okay so summarizing we were able to create an XML document a simple XML document from a table and here are the terms that we came across XML prolog the line that appeared in the one dot XML file right at the top the catalog which is the top level element is called the root element in XML terminology the root element can have child element CDs are child elements of catalog then title artist etc are child elements of CDs and so forth okay so that was a quick uh, introduction to XML I, I hope you liked it I have many more tutorials coming up on XML uh, I suggest you visit my site techedguru.com it contains tutorials on many topics especially programming languages like Java C sharp visual basic etc thank you for listening